Breathing through the nose means that air is humidified as it goes into your lungs. Yeah, so on the Wednesday, it was a scheduled day off physically. Um, we just had one meeting in the morning, um, and that happened to be a, uh, we just went around the circle and just spoke about um, each individually, uh, three things, our hero, our hardship in life, and our highlight. You know, for the guys to sit there for three and a half hours and go through every run, and not once did they look at their watch or, or get bored of it, they were just so engaged, so respectful of the process and understanding where everyone's come from. And it was a real shift in energy after that Wednesday morning, um, Wednesday morning exercise we did, um, and you could just see the team come together. We were just sitting there talking about our lives and what we've been through and what we look forward to, and no, it was good to see like the boys and everyone just sticking together and I feel like that's what really united us. I, I'd never been in a room where I'd seen so many grown men be vulnerable and be okay with it. So it was the best, it was the best you know, you, you do that to bond and, and realise, as you said, hardship and what people have gone through and that's the best one I've ever been a part of and that's not just saying that. We're all we're just all sitting in a circle and seeing some of the, like obviously everyone who plays rugby league is tough but seeing some of the toughest guys in our team talk about their vulnerabilities and, and kind of break down. It kind of, it, ma it made everyone seem more human. To see some of the boys that you don't really know and, and don't really talk to, um, to see them um, get so vulnerable and talk about their life experiences was, was, pretty, um, was pretty moving. And um, you know, you just look at them differently after that, you, you know that, you know, um, if they're able to open themselves up like that, then you know, you can definitely um, connect with them. That's the thing that I'm going to miss the most when eventually I do you know, go away from footy. You'll never get that bond anywhere. You, you'll never get it in an office, you'll never get it on a job site. You, you know, you just won't and it, it's very special. It's quite, um, it, it's movie man, like it, it's something that, yeah, I'll, I'll remember for a long time and like I said, I've got a lot of respect for a few of those boys who, it's not in them to normally do that, but to come out, do it for the group, it's, it's, um, it's strong. Um, I guess the connection in this club's only getting better, but you know, from you know, the season hasn't even started, and you can definitely feel something special in the room. Every day we turn up, everyone enjoys each other's company, everyone's laughing, everyone's joking with each other. As soon as we cross onto that white line on the paddock, you know, it's it's all go. I'll forever be grateful for the guys that really dug deep and, and told us more about where they come from and, and became really vulnerable in front of the group. Boys, before we uh, <laughs> jump into our values and stuff, we've got a little, a little bit of trivia tonight, only 15, 20 minutes. So we've got some teams over here. Can we just jump into some teams, boys, please? The winners of this tonight get mad hectic surprises. It's going to be the maddest. Nick Potter, can you come to the front? Next one. 
What year did the club go from the Berries to the Bulldogs? Maybe turn the volume down in little groups here. Next one. How many premierships has the Bulldogs won over time? Oh, yeah. The winners. Hawks and Mad Technicus Sick Prizes is Neil Mashery. Yeah! Everyone's sort of closer now, and um, you know, we're becoming mates off the field, and I think that's important to. Um, you know, being on the field, just knowing, you, knowing your mate's going to be there for you on the field. And you can run a lot of these programs and, and um, you know, try and get the boys to open up and things like that. But until it takes, it takes a lot of courage to open up and, and be really honest about where you come from, what hardships you've gone through and what makes you tick. We, we lost those grand finals and the whole, the whole fucking street was, was still packed out. Levers on burnouts everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember Grub took his shirt off, right? The, the whole lease club was shut off. Grub took his shirt off. I'm being serious. That there was a punch on over the shirt. Honestly, you slayed my boys like. I was just sitting out there, and when the boys were talking like that, like it actually made me a bit emotional inside because, like, I, I think a lot of the time when we're, when we're, when we're all in it and you're, you're winning games and you're losing games, sometimes you just forget what it's all about. And, like, to be in a room with, like, you know, young guys like this that that did look up to me at that time, mate. It's, it's, it's crazy. And, you know, I'm at the back end of my career now, but to hear these stuff, like, I actually, it, it means so much to me. And the boys, uh, Jordan and, and Khaled, sort of said to me um, what I'd done for them when they were young kids. And, you know, Jordan had a joke that, you know, he made, I made him cry twice because we lost two grand finals. But it's, it's, quite, um, it's quite a moment for me when I can come back to this club, sit there and hear of young, you know, 20-year-old guys who we inspired back in the day, you know, like we pop, I, back then I probably didn't think too much into it, you know, yeah, I try my best to be, you know, sign everything and for kids, because I love, I love being a part of that, but like to actually sit there and hear them talk about the impact I had on their lives, it was, um, it was special, man, honestly. And now I get to like go out on the field with them and <laughs> throw the ball with them and, and, and try and play with them and, and do weights with them. Those little things mean so much. Threes, so I'm gonna have the ball on outside hip. You're just gonna hold the nose. So hold the nose, yep. Like, cover the nose. So my first movement is, to, is a pulse. So I wanna feel those muscles, so keep your hand there. Boom, one, then take your hand away. Boom, then we're getting through the target. So again, I'm, I'm just trying to train you to start the pass the right way. So a pulse, hold it, pulse hard, take your hand away, into your pass. Cool, find a three, do, th do three reps. And then uh, both hands, both hands. In this way, ever since I was a kid, I had something to say. Rocking mics was a dream, I didn't care about pay. I sacrificed late nights and going out with my friends just to stay home alone with my pad and my pen. Had my eyes on my prize, my mind on my goal. As I carved these rhymes out with my heart and my soul, I didn't have a CD, all I had was a tape. On the dole through my flow was my only escape from a world where they didn't want to see me prevail. Hey, it's been unreal, mate. The boys have ripped in, um, hung out together. Got super connected. Um, it's been awesome, mate. Awesome. It's because it's, it's a long way being that last middle. If they hit that edge, being that last middle, it's a long way. You can't hear anything. Like you need, we need us to be relaying. Yeah. Today. 
you used to tell the mic something? Is it true that you're telling everyone that your fight was easy? What? Alright, Today's about the future, mate. Don't talk to the boys now. Yes. Give me something! Yeah. <laughs> 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 boys, create the future. I wrote some things down, but we can get the staff to tell us what they want, but we're the ones on the field. We're the ones fucking out there busting our ass. They're just sitting from the box. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what I want to hear what, what you guys want on the field, off the field. I think from yesterday, we're heading in the right direction. So, uh, I've only been here for like, three training sessions. <laughs> and, uh, I feel like I knew during two years. I got a lot more respect for people. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean? I thought I had a few things in my life, but like, so many about physically, mentally, but I want to hear what you guys think, what we want to create here. Anyone? Oh, I feel, I feel connected to my brothers. Man. This is the first time in a long time where I felt, you know, they were a family, where I feel safe to make mistakes, where I feel safe to, to go out there and take a risk, but I'm learning at the same time. We haven't, we haven't had that in, in, in a very long time. So for me, what the up? What I want to see in this team is family. It's family, family oriented club. We're all about family, we're all about love. And the title we are as a group will easily translate into our field. You know? If I'm tired out there on the field and I know to be this backstory from yesterday, I want to do everything to, 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 to hunt for them. You know? I want to do everything to chat to my five and to come up. You know what I mean? Yeah. What I'm saying is that the connection that we have now, bro, like what people like <coughs> were saying yesterday, what we did yesterday, is going to give us that edge to win games. And it's something that I've been craving for. I love this company.